Oops. Oh no! Where are you going? Oh! Oh! He's dropped off the planet! Horace! Yo, yo, yo! Welcome, folks, and thank you for joining me. We are back with Horace today. We are at chapter six, and those of you that have been following Horace and I on our little adventure will recall that in the last video we encountered bear traps. We were squashed like a pancake and we learnt to play the drums. And we left Horace outside the prison yard, going to break out of prison, Mr. Silton's friend. Ooh, and let's not forget murder. Horace committed murder. I can't believe it. This cute little robot. If you want to see what I'm talking about, check out my previous video on this. Oh, I was traumatised following that. So let's see where today's chapter takes us as we attempt to break out of prison, Mr. Silton's friend. Here's Horace with his shield. And we're about to enter into the prison somehow. Let's see where we go. Oh, there goes the shield. Not the best of starts. We can't go any further that way. Someone presumes we've got to do some jumping with our gravity boots. Horace, are you sure you want to go this way? Oh, we're all the way back to the beginning. a much more friendlier way to approach the prison. Well, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure where we're heading. Are we going to that vent with the green light? Do you think that's where we need to head? Oh, no, look. Blocked. So maybe our friend was right. Maybe Horace knew intuitively that we needed to go the other way. Oops. <laughs> Oh no! Where are you going? Oh! Oh! He's dropped off the planet! Horace! <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, this way then. Got the zappy thing to avoid. Wait. Go. Oh! Oh, I see. Look. I see. Clever. So now we've gone that way. Oh no, it's going back down. Oh no. We have to be quick. Oh man. We are on a timer. Uh-oh. Oh, let's do it again. Go. Run, Horace. Run. We're on a timer. Run, Horace. Don't die. Run. Woo! We made it. Just. Whew. That was close. It was obvious the security lights would set off an alarm. Okay, avoid the lights then. Is that what we're saying? Or don't move when the lights shine on you. Maybe that's what they mean. Stay still, Horace. How are we going to get past here then? Duck. <laughs> Hide, Horace. He's hiding. You cannot see him. Go. Where is this dude? Is he in the cell block, H? I suspect that's going to catapult us up into the air. I guess. Let's see. Whoop! 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 Yes, it did. Ooh, what's in here? We can hide in the lockers. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's go into the control room. What's happening in the control room? Oh, there's lights everywhere. Hide in this locker. <laughs> and out you come, Horace. Horace, come out. 
Oh, it's a vent. Quick, in the vent. Where are we? I've no idea. And I don't know where we're supposed to be heading. According to Mr. Sufton, this was the switch that would open the laser door to Mr. Logan's cell block. We need to get to cell block H then, one presumes. Right. Where's he going? He's right. Can we just follow him? Is he really that dense? He's not going to see us. Oh, what's that? Oh, we can hide in the bushes. Most excellent. So we'll wait for him to come past. Lovely jubbly. Keep walking, Mr. Security Guard. And out we pop. No, Horace, out. Ugh. Maybe he's having a wee in the bushes or something and he wasn't ready to come out. Then he's a robot. Robots wouldn't wee, would they? Right, let's wait for this guard to go by. Let's go, Horace. Horace! Horace! Moo! Ugh. This time, Horace, you could do this. Just come out and walk right. Go. There we are. Well done. No! Oh, that's one way of doing it, I guess. It's not quite what I wanted to achieve, but... Well... It is what I wanted to achieve, but it's not how I wanted to do it. But we got there. Oh, no, look. We need to override that thingy. And one presumes the button is in that other room. Into the control room. Brilliant. Oh! Oh, it's a pool table. Nice. I don't move. I don't move. Go. Quick, hide. I can't hide. Where am I? Ah! Hide. Hide, Horace. Whew. Let's just stay in there for a moment. Oh, my word. This is hard. Oh. Go. Uh. In the security... Oh, knickers. Knickers. Gotta hide in there. Go away. Go away. Leave little old Horace alone. And out. Out. Come out. Run, run, run. Oh. <laughs> hide, Horace. Hide. Right, ready, set, go. Oh, why is he not coming out? Come on. Ready. No, not yet. You're going to have to wait for the next turn. Wait for the next swing of the lights. Are you ready, Horace? This one. Ready, set, go. Where is he? Come out. Oh, my God. It's not working. It's not working, Horace. Get in. <sighs> Horace, you need to come out with friend when I say go. <sighs> Ready? Go. Run, 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 run. Ay, ay, ay. You don't get much of a chance here, Horace. Okay, home. When I say gun, go, you have to run. Go. Run! Oh my god. Ready? Go. Run. Run. Well done. Well done. Now into the security room. Whew. Oh, no! Get in there. Right, somewhere to hide here. Oh, we can walk past them. Okay, some place to hide. Nice. No! Get in the locker. There's not much going on in this room. An 
Ah, it's the one that turns off that light, right? Mr. Silton yes. seemed to think this would open the cell block door. Luckily, he was right. Well done. This is cell block H. Okay. All ah, right. Yes, we had this zappy thing before, didn't we, that we couldn't get past. We have got past that now by deactivating it. Whoop, whoop. Now, where's this dude? Unsurprisingly, Mr. Logan's cell was locked, but thanks to my speedy brain, I was able to hack it in seconds. I'm not sure that's a Mr. good thing. Mr. Logan was but, not pleased okay. to see me. Oh. No one ever was, but I couldn't work out why. However, when I mentioned Mr. Silton, he soon cheered up. We quickly made our way outside. Although I wasn't sure about Mr. Logan's stealth techniques, they were quite different from mine. <laughs> Ooh, but wow. someone must have noticed Mr. Logan was missing. As, with a bright flash, we were soon attacked. Uh-oh. This still wasn't the plan, said Mr. Silton as he insisted he was okay. And that, no, I didn't need to clean up the trail. Is he shot blood. again? He did, however, urge me to take care of the huge tank turning tank. down on us. Tank! How are we going to take care of a tank? What does he want us to do with a tank? Oh, I see. Okay, right. Ow, ow, loud, loud. Ah! Oh, there's another one over here. Okay, got you. Ah! Okay, I got, I got the gist of this, I think. Okay, so break that, right, and get back on. Uh oh. Break that one. Oh, knickers. Ready? Focus, you hear? Yeah, that's it. There's three gone. Is that it? There's more? Oh, it's back in the middle, it's shrunk. Okay. Yes! Now what? We all piled into the van. Mr. Logan and Mr. Preston took out large guns as Mr. Silton gave me some driving oh software. Dear. It basically explained that one foot pump made the van go, and the other one signaled Mr. Logan and Preston to fire their guns. Oh God. Pressure. Okay. Ah! Ah! The steering needs attention. I think we're on it. I think we've got it. We've got to shoot that melon looking thing. Mind the tree. Haha, <laughs> this is awesome! Have we done it? Yes, I think so. The van's not looking too healthy, though. I hope that all the bullets fired led to non-fatal wounds, <laughs> but statistically that was incredibly unlikely. Strangely, I felt too excited and relieved to care. Did you? Horace. Mr. Silton winced as he clutched his bleeding shoulder and explained how you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I think broken eggs meant dead people. Mm -hmm. I asked Mr. Silton about Heather and the old lady, but he said he was just about to wash his hair. Does he have hair? When I asked him again later, he said the main thing was that we'd got Logan and the van back, and couldn't the rest wait until I had cleaned up the van room for him. I didn't know what to say. Everything we had done, everything I had helped him with, I thought it was all to get everyone back together. Yes. But now I didn't know what to think. Hmm. Before I could say anything, Mrs. Silton explained that it was okay if I only traveled on trains and was alone. I must have looked worried as Mrs. Silton smiled and continued, If you really want these idiots to go with you, they can disguise themselves and catch the next train after you. We're off on a train? Mr. Silton was dismissive and said I'd get nowhere without proper ID. They'll be stopping robots for even the tiniest of things, he said. And a robot passport costs a fortune these days. Well, said Mrs. Silton, it's a good job I've got this. 
a robot Mr. Silton passport. looked confused and asked where Mrs. Silton got the money. Sometimes, said Mrs. Silton, when God slams a door in your face and shoots you twice in the shoulder, <laughs> he opens a window. I awoke to the sound of Mrs. Silton making herself some breakfast. It felt very early, but I suppose it was just that we had gotten so late. Mrs. Silton gulped down her coffee, and with a reassuring smile she said, Let's do this. Do what? What are we doing? Where are we going, Mrs. Silton? Ah, oh, the passport machine. I remember this from a previous video. Was it chapter two? Check it out, guys, if you haven't done so already. See, so it takes us through that door that was locked. Got you. So the passport opens the door on the mainland. So we're on the mainland now. Right, I suspect and that's where we're at. And I think this is a great place to start the next video. So this brings me to the end of today's recording. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button for me and subscribe if you've not done so already. Until next time, folks. Ciao for now.